Sorry to speak. So, uh, <laughs> it's um, a pleasure to be here. I was here a couple of years ago. I had some issues on this course and I swore I'd come back and uh, it took me two years to get here. So it's a pleasure to be back again. An amazing field. Every year you present an amazing field here in Abu Dhabi. So it'll be a very, very tough, tough event for me. I think uh, at this point in time, the man sitting on my left is probably the the most consistent and toughest long course athlete on the planet. His results last year were spectacular, so a lot of us uh, are really keying our season off of him this year, and uh, it'll be very interesting to see how well he's going this time of the year. It's always very, very good, and uh, I'm just very, very happy to be here. It's going to be a long, tough day. It's great to have a, an old familiar face in Conrad with me. We've been racing this sport for two decades, and it'll be great to see him out on the course. So uh, thanks for having me here. I look forward to a wonderful race. Mate, as we said, you've been around the sport for many, many years and you are most, one of the most recognised, but what keeps the drive in Chris McCormack going? We're talking 1997, you won the one your first world title and some 20 years later you've won another two Ironman titles and you still have that passion, that desire to achieve and, and to tick the box to be one of the best athletes in the world. I think it's the people that keep me in this sport. I, uh, you know, when I started doing triathlon in the early 90s and you know, it was the, the atmosphere and the challenge that that, that brought me to the sport, but the people have kept me here, and I, uh, I mean, you come to amazing destinations like this around the world, and you know, I have so many friends in different continents that uh, you know, it's very, very difficult to hang the shoes up. I'm approaching 40 this year. I remember many years ago watching uh, some of the older athletes and Dave Scott racing as 40 year olds, thinking, man, that's really, really old. <laughs> well, that's me now. So I, um, you know, I just love competing and uh, you know just seeing the depth of talent that's coming through this sport over the last you know few years and, and just watching the evolution of the next wave of athletes coming through. It's always a pleasure to race those guys because I know one day you know you're not going to be at the pointy end. So it's uh, you know, it's great to take scalps and remind them in ten years' time that you know they'll beat them as a forty-year-old. And just finding that can um, to be as you've been in sport for a while, but to be now a role model for a lot of those young guys that um are coming up through the ranks both in ITU short course race and of course long course where you are the specialist, but has it feel to be like a role model, so to speak, for a lot of these rising stars? I don't know about a role model. I know they enjoy kicking my butt. Uh, <laughs> it's, um, you know, last year I ventured into the into that ITU racing. I had a bit of a midlife crisis and uh, and thought I'd see if I could make the, the Australian Olympic team for London. And, and just keep, missed out, by the way. No, Very close. Missed, yeah, reserve, but, you know, you miss out, you miss out. Um, but just to see the, the depth of talent there was impressive. And you're going to see Alistair Brownlee this weekend. Uh, in my opinion, that, that boy is uh, the greatest draft legal short course athlete that's ever walked the planet. And uh, you know, you're know you going to see those guys migrate to long course racing over the next you know, decade or so. And it's going to be interesting, Javier Gomez. You know, just to see where this sport has gone from when I first started racing in, you know, in speedos to speed suits and fast bikes and disc wheels and it's amazing and uh, you know it's testament to this sport growing up and uh, you know it's just a pleasure to continue to put a number on. Uh, I pinch myself every year that I've, they continue to give me a pro licence because uh, I just love racing these guys. 